Jesus Christ, Catherine. Calm your titties. Everybody. my name is Sam welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be doing my July wrap-up and I read 22 books this month largely thanks to doing Dewey's 24-hour readathon still that's a lot so I'm gonna to try to keep this short because like nobody wants to watch a 34 minute video about what I read this month and chances are these things will come up at some point in time later on and these are also in no particular order because I'm too lazy to put them in order so we're just gonna deal with that. Okay, so first I have Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne, which I really enjoyed. I think I read this book once before, but I was in like maybe middle school and I had just forgotten how just entertaining it is. It is not without problems because it was written at a time when society was just very different. Overall though, I really liked it. I gave it four stars. And next I have any Man by Amber Tamblin, which is a debut novel by a woman who wrote that poetry book Dark Sparkler that I think I talked about in my mid-year check-in. She released a novel and it is about a serial rapist who is a woman. And it was really short. It was like almost short enough to be a novella. And it was pretty intense, honestly. It was like a little upsetting so if you're easily triggered by uh things particularly like sexual violence maybe don't read that one but if you think you would be okay it was really surprisingly powerful for how short it was i also gave that one four stars i have i don't know what you know me from by judy greer which was just a fun celebrity memoir about the life of somebody who is always playing the best friend in every movie. Again, I gave it four stars. And then As I Lay Dying by William Faulkner, which I read because it fits a read harder prompt for me, which is an assigned book you hated or never finished. I loathed As I Lay Dying when I had to read it in high school. I fucking hated it. And honestly, like, I enjoyed it more now, but it still wasn't amazing. <laughs> um, I gave it three stars. I can see why people like it. I can see why it's considered one of the, like, literary greats, but it just isn't for me. Moving on, We by Evgeny Zamyatin. I finally read this. I actually listened to the audiobook for a lot of this. I really enjoyed it. Once again, I gave it four stars. This is a dystopian that inspired a lot of other dystopians. And if you're into the genre at all, I think this should be like required reading because it's where a lot of those general dystopian themes kind of come from. Next, I have The Midwitch Cuckoos by John Wyndham. You guys, John Wyndham is the love of my literary life. I love him so much, in case you guys never got that from anything else I've ever said. This book might be my new favorite of his. I still really love Day of the Triffids, which is man-eating plants, what's not to love, but this one is just like really fucking creepy. It's about like an alien invasion and all of the aliens get all the women in the town pregnant and then the babies are born and they have mind control powers and it's really fucking unsettling, honestly. And it makes a lot of commentary about like kind of pregnancy and the expectation that women are just supposed to have children and they don't have a lot of say in it. And that's like really progressive for 1950 seven. So yeah, it says a lot and I just, I like it. It's great. I gave it five stars. It's wonderful. You should all read it. <laughs> I talked about that way longer than I should have. Next I have Meg, a novel of deep terror by Steve Alton. I read this for the Megalong that Erica at Perks and Books hosted this month and this book is 
honestly terrible. <laughs> it's awful. It's really bad. I judge you, Erica. I judge you so harshly. Next I read, and this is just a, a bind up that I have. I've actually read these either through audio or on Kindle, but I read the first two books in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series by Douglas Adams. So that is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and The Restaurant at the End of the Universe. So pure and so fun and I love them. They're really entertaining. They're like super funny. They don't take themselves too seriously. There's just like the most convoluted, like never explains how it happens, crazy ass sci-fi shit off the rails going on. And they're just good, good honest fun. And I gave them both four stars. I'm going to continue the rest of the series coming up pretty quick here. Then I have the last three books in the Cat Wings series by Ursula K. Le Guin. So Cat Wings Return, Wonderful Alexander and the Cat Wings, and Jane on Her Own, A Cat Wings Tale. I liked these. They're just like cute, fun for the whole family kids stories. Although like this one, the last one, Jane on Her Own, gets like a little dark, surprisingly. Now we're getting into the real shit. And by that I mean a lot of the stuff I read during the readathon. So I have the final two volumes in the Scott Pilgrim series, Scott Pilgrim vs. the Universe and Scott Pilgrim's Finest Hour by Brian Lee O'Malley. I gave these both four stars. They were a solid conclusion to the series overall, but they were weird as fuck. <laughs> I have Angel Catbird, Volume 2, Two Castle Catula by Margaret Atwood with art by Johnny Christmas. This is as like kitschy and goofy as it sounds, but it's also really great. And there's like puns, like cat puns. There's also like cat and bird facts scattered throughout this, like so you can learn about um, population issues and things like that. It's, it's a good time. It's a good time. Gave that four stars, I think. Then I have volumes one and two of Saga by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. I finally read these. It took me for fucking ever to get to them, and I'm really glad that I started them. I loved these. I They were my second favorite thing that I read during the readathon, and probably second or third favorite that I read all month. I gave these 4.5 stars, or I would have if you could actually give half star ratings on Goodreads. They're wonderful. I can't wait to read the rest of the series. Then I read How to Talk to Girls at Parties by Neil Gaiman. This is fine. It's not particularly memorable. And then finally, I read volumes two through five of Descender by Jeff Lemire and Dustin Wynn. These are so good. <laughs> they are one of my two favorite things I read this month. So Descender and Midwitch Cuckoos were the five star reads for the month. I will recommend this every time someone needs a comic recommendation. Read it. Go read it. I will talk about it every time you hear from me until you read it. Okay. <laughs> so those are the 22 books that I read this month. It was actually a pretty good reading month. There were only a couple things that I was either like meh or like boo on and mostly I had four and five star reads which is like pretty rare for me. Let me know what you guys read this month in the comments and comment about how I just kicked my tripod. It's really awesome. And I don't know, just uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all the shit with all the shit. Have a great day. Bye.